Are you recording? Hey guys. Hello. Uh, welcome to part 22 of Do a Barrel Roll. Of. Come on. Star Fox. Oh. Oh my god. Okay, guys, there's something I need to rather get out of the way here really quickly. And the thing is this, I perhaps seen one of the most creepiest things I've ever seen in my life. Turn your camera off, by the way. And flowery... <laughs> I will throw you in fire. Oh boy. That... Again, he hasn't even seen the true lab yet. I mean, I'm just like, what the hell? He ain't that bad, but I'll send you that Apex Twin video. That I swear it might be a slight inspiration for Flowey. Oh my god. Like, I don't even know. Like, I thought... Like, I, know, I love it. Like, I, I know, like, from... Like, ever since, like, the beginning. Well, I didn't... Well, ever since I... Okay, uh, here, let me explain. Ever since I started getting into Undertale and watching Undertale shit... I told him Flowey is creepy. Well, not. I didn't tell him Flowey. I told him the final boss is creepy as fuck, and I love it. And now he finally sees why. Oh. I just want to give him a big old hug. Oh. oh. <laughs> just let me sit down in the corner for a few hours. What I'm. What I say. Again, it's nowhere I... near as bad as what I want to send you. Oh. Nowhere near as bad as Lisa either, because like okay, the, 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 there isn't a lot of creepy. Does well, sorta. There's a few like some of the Joy Mutants are pretty creepy looking, and Wally is like that's a whole another fucking level. But that game's more like dark and depressing than creepy, but it has its fucking creepy moments. Holy shit, does it ever? Boy. Yeah, we're yeah and again, he hasn't seen all the creep in Undertale yet. There is much more to be held. Yeah, when I seen, um, I Jack uh, Septicai put out a uh, animation, or someone made an animation for Jack Jack Septicai for Undertale. It's basically like the first, the first section when you're in the ruins with Toriel. From like when Flowey pops in, to when Toriel gives you a hug. See, I always known Fly was uh, Fly, heh. Flowey was a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of an ass. But I, but I was not expecting that. There is much more to Flowey than you know, Winks. And think is there's still one more part I still have left to see. I'm only on part nine, and I ju and I seen like two seconds of part ten, just so I can have it in my. Uh, <laughs> oh, that freaked me the hell out. Oh yeah. And what in the hell? This piece of my sister's hair cut up my blanket. What the hell? Um. So before we uh, actually start this video, guys, I want to uh, mention something. Um. 
I was on YouTube last night and I was was it last night? Yeah, it was uh, last night. <laughs> oh, darn it. I didn't know it just did that. Well, guys, here we are in Sector Z. Let's go. So, guys, um, I was watching some YouTube last night. And it was some um, countdown videos. And there's two questions and I want to ask you guys that they might be a bit obscure but I'll explain more into it why I why I ask those but what is your like when you're thinking of like characters right what is your definition of a cute character. Uh, leave your comments down below and what is the first thing that comes to mind? Pepsi. And the other question is this. What's something Pepsi Man? What's one of the first things, uh, in terms of characters, that come to mind when you hear the word sidekick? I want you guys to leave a um, comment down below and tell me what's something, what's a character that comes to mind when you hear of that word? I think of Robin, then I think of how, like, how much of a whiny little spoiled no, brat mean, Damian video Wayne game is. characters, in particular. Let me cut off my funny joke. Whatever. I think, um. <laughs> I think, I, I think, uh, once you start thinking about what I'm going on about you, you know exactly what I mean. You're, you're still butthurt about that Watch Mojo countdown of the okay, fucking don't, sidekicks. Okay, don't, they... don't go into further detail, don't go into much detail. Because, um, at the end of this video, I'll explain uh. why I asked those questions. to be more details on that. But yes, there were two Watch Mojo videos. And the selections they picked for characters. Some I can agree for both for both suggestions, like for cutest character and character sidekicks. But the rest... No. Because I'm going to be completely, completely honest. Once I seen... Like the full countdown of both things. With the first countdown, I was kind of... I was kind of annoyed, but when I well, s they got never mind. I'll, I'll shut up. Yeah, when I seen the uh, second countdown, I was just downright pissed. And you have sort of a right to be because that was kind of shitty. Yeah, I mean that was just like. Okay, we're going to stick a bunch of these well-known characters in here. Or, 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 you gotta realize this. Like, watch Mojo countdowns in general. Kind of hit and miss. Sometimes the winner is just the most popular. But even by that logic, you still have kind of a right to be upset. But, yeah. I always just take those with a grain of salt. Because right. I like salt. Oh my god, you're over there? Yes, I'm over here. Come on, Slippy. Die, you freaking creep. There we go. So yeah, last night that kind of uh, <laughs> that kind of got me the wrong way, and today yeah, it I got just got you very butt hurt to where you were ranting on the site. Yeah, and 
But usually I'm the one who does all the ranting, so that's odd for you. And I'm I'm possibly scarred by what I've seen today. That thing again, is, uh. well, it's pretty bad, but like again, there is creepier shit out there. In this very game, there is some creepy shit you still have yet to see. Because and if I, I get mean, you to play Lisa, dude, that that whole game is creepy and depressing. For a game that you, uh, well, depending on which one you do, but for not to uh, mention, there's the whole thing with the genocide run where. That whole run has to be fucking depressing. I haven't seen much of it, but I imagine that would not be fun. Oh yeah, and I'll get into some uh, details about that in a second. But, um... About that, that whole genocide run thing. I will be watching that as soon as I, the uh, main pacifist run is done. And I have no idea how to how I'm gonna react to it because I heard of genocide one before, and I pretty much know what genocide means, so I know it's nothing good. But to be honest, ow, ow, what the hell is hitting me? For a game that you make friends in during a pacifist run, and then turns out in the end it gets extremely dark very quickly. Um, you get the pan. You get more than just a pan scared off of ya. You're wondering for about 20 minutes what the hell you just seen. That's me in a nutshell. Yeah, um... Well, I can... Well, that's a pretty good reason to remove Genocide City from Sonic 2, isn't it? Ow! Just hit me. And this guy still thinks the Genesis sh City should have been a uh, level in Sonic 2. I'm not gonna lie, that's It's a badass fucking name, dude. That shit's fucking metal. Yeah, especially for a game that's just said it's a kid's game. Oh, not you again. Go to hell. Go to hell. Stupid probe. What the hell are these things? Can I do anything with these? Alright. Oh god. Peppy, you're coming across my front. Die, you cretin. Die. Die. Thank you. Uh, I'm still legitimately freaked out by it. Well, I know it's only been a few minutes ago since I've seen it, but my god. <sighs> oh yeah, and about the whole genocide thing. Oh, you jerks are back. Die, thank you. I wouldn't mind having that, thank you. Um... When we ever, when we, when the hell is that flashing to the same color, to the same rhythm as my shield? That's weird. Anyway, I'm getting a bit sidetracked. What in the hell? Oh, there's the ship that's on the uh, icon. The level icon. What the hell?
Well, yeah, um, when we, uh, do go to do Undertale, I high currently, right now, I highly doubt that we'll be doing a genocide run. Why? I, uh, I, I don't really see the point of us even doing one, but that's up to you. Like, I want to play Undertale, don't get me wrong, it's not that. It's that, A, it's, like, been done a lot already, and we both already know everything in the game, pretty much. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. Um, but not so that kind of ruins some of the shock value and surprise. But not to sound weird or anything. But there are some characters that I like in that game that my well say my my so called inner self I have you guys know about that kind of stuff. This pretty much says I I won't be able to hurt, like hurt this character like I yeah I understand a, yeah I just won't be I don't know why dude I have less of a moral compass than you and I'm even like no because my standard for a while and it's been for as long as I can remember I just realized this is just like a redone um uh, the uh, ship level. Anyway, ow. Um, like my thing uh, for a while, like for as long as I can remember, it's been this thing where I won't, I I generally won't hurt something unless I need to. If I'm given a choice, I'm backing out. So, like, honestly, if you had played this game without knowing anything, you probably would have wound up doing pacifists anyway. Most likely. Because there's... One character that I know right off the bat I won't be able to harm. And that's the first... I think I know. Who? Yeah, I know who it is. It's Toriel. Yes. Dude, like, when Super Best Friends Play did it, like, I even I was like, uh, because, like, they fucked up. They didn't know on their first uh, run, and, like, they wound up killing Toriel because they didn't know you could spare her. Because it's hard to do. Like, you have to fucking spare her, like, fucking 30 times or something and like they didn't fucking know and yeah I even I felt I was like ugh that's not great oh. that's sad so I mean honestly I just wouldn't be able to bring myself to do it And where I'm given that choice, I won't. What the hell are these things? What the hell are these things? Oh shit, it's going around the other way. Oh shit! <coughs> and there's something connected to, to this that I haven't told you guys yet. It's something that I've already done. 
And it's something I didn't want to do for the same reason. Uh, for you guys who've been following me, well, I've found this uh, channel for a while and heard about me playing Sonic Adventure 2, you know exactly what I mean. Yeah. You felt kind of bad about having to fight Tails. Honestly, yes. Like really, really bad. Honestly, yes. I mean, I, I seriously did not want to do it. But I knew it's something I had to do. Was it easy? Uh, no. But one thing I will say is this. When I do the hero side, revenge is going to be sweet. <laughs> I'm going to enjoy kicking Eggman's ass. And some of you might be thinking I this is a little strange I in general. But everything was glitching out really bad. Yeah, um some of you guys might think it's odd to be hearing this at all. What's a freaking win? Yeah, yeah, thanks, jackass. Or right, can you hear me? Yes. Everything is out, man. Sorry. It's all right, man. But if all right, I'm going to ask you guys a bit of a serious question here. If you guys were given a choice. And uh, I really do want you guys to leave uh, this down in the comment section below. If you guys were given a choice, to hurt a character in a game that you like, or if you're given a choice, To leave it unharmed, what would you do? Because, to be completely honest, for anyone that would know me in real life, would, may or may not know this, but if you know me personally, chances are you might already know. But, if given a choice, I wouldn't harm anyone or anything. What's that saying? I have no idea. The saying I'm trying to think of. It's, a, it's not uh, pick your battles, no. But it's kind of like that, kind of pick your battles sort of thing. Um, oh, it goes my second ring. Dang it. Um. Was it, um, I think that's my opinion. Only fight those you have to.
And there's also the more popular one, Make Love Not War. Giggity. And uh, there's one... Yeah, can we be funny now? Because this episode has been kind of a downer. Yeah, Wait, um, I, I, I can't think of anything funny to say, so whatever. <laughs> if, um... Yeah, sorry guys, I'm getting all philosophical on you there. <laughs> um... Well, yeah, um, for anyone that, like, well, no, like, we mention a, uh, well, we're after mentioning a site here every now and then. But, yeah, there, okay, I'm not, g I was going to, but I'm not now. Yeah, there's one particular day in every month that things get very interesting. I'm not going into very far into details. Oh my god. Alright, let's just not talk about that stuff. <laughs> let's just not go into all that right now. Uh, oh, I freaking... Uh. Anywho, damn, I'm trying to think of something I can fucking talk about, but I'm just like drawing a blank. To be honest, I'm not sure if there's... I'm not sure if I actually talked about myself like that before in this, uh... In the video, I... Uh, no, this is the first time you've gotten, like, that fucking, like, personal and shit. Yeah, I think I talked about a bit about myself before, but... Not quite to that agree. Now I gotta do this freaking crap again, because... Screw you, boss. Yay! Or... Screw you, Ross. Yeah, also, I don't know why my fucking, like, shit kept glitching out. I think it was either A, the side I was on, or B, your Wi-Fi, because it, it sounded like you were having Wi-Fi derps. I don't think so, though. Yeah, yeah. I, c like, I could hear you already. You were, like, cutting in and out. Could have been my Wi-Fi, even. I don't know. Uh, well, one thing I will say, though. Flowey, I'm going to help you burn. No one like that. No one with a final form such as that. <sighs> Man. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. <laughs> there we go, classic fashion of the channel. Jeez! Yeah, that's more like it. <sighs> that's more like it. Some sex jokes, that's more of our fucking style. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh <laughs> my god. There we go. Moving, bobbing, moving. I ain't heard that song of freaking ages. <laughs> I can't believe you actually got that reference. <laughs> and for some reason, every single time I, I do that voice, my mom always said I sound like sweeter, the freaking Swedish chef in the Muppets. I don't know Little why. Little bit. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, hoodie, 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 hoodie. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> the, the best Swedish chef thing ever is when they were talking about him in Game Grumps and just saying, Shia LaBeouf! <laughs> they just kept saying Shia LaBeouf in, like, the Swedish chef voice, and for some reason it made me die laughing. Oh, you mean like this? Shia LaBeouf! Shia LaBeouf! <laughs> oh, my God. Uh. <laughs> uh, I'll never 
ever forget this. And Jacksepticeye, thank you for making this a thing. Or thanks for saying this. Uh, this is a turbo dismount video. He had a special of um, having Monosaurus's face on Mr. and uh, Mrs. Dismount's body. This is what he said when he stuck her in front of a freaking bulldozer. Alright. <coughs> this should be good. Oh god. Stop. In the name of love. Before you break my ass. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely we're definitely back in our usual style now. <laughs> Being idiots. There we go. Oh. And every like the first time I heard that I'm just like, what the heck? It's like one of those random things that you couldn't help just like just completely just lose your ass over. Mom randomly snickering in the background. <laughs> I don't even know what's going on anymore. <laughs> now I got freaking Jack Subject stuck on my head. They're constantly saying that. I can't complain though, it's hilarious. Uh, stop. In the name of love. Before you break my ass. And that's literally how we <laughs> did it too. At first he just sung the song normally, then he changed his tone of voice and just or change his uh, voice style and just. I might have. I might have to watch some Jacksepticeye at some point. Oh, that guy's the freaking best. Well, I wouldn't say he is the top best YouTuber out there. He's just your favorite. He's one of the best. Like, my favorite is, like, still, well, not really unknown. Really. They ain't really unknown. They're pretty well known now. But, like, my favorites are Super Best Friends Play. Like, I watch them a lot. And, uh, Game Grumps, of course. I haven't watched Game Grumps in a while, though. Um, and I'm going to let you guys I in on a little secret. Ooh, Top Secrets. It's a secret about why I started this channel. And what is the inspiration behind it. Okay, the secret between behind my involvement is... Hey, you mind if I record us while we talk? Then I went, okay. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, because to be honest, well, before I get into that little tidbit... When I uh, before, dude, before we even started, we literally just did this, except we weren't recording. Yeah, and so I started doing some videos of my own, and I was nervous as hell. So I was like, "Hmm, why don't I start doing like some? Where the hell did I go? Um, why don't I ask? Why don't I ask my weird, creepy friend Charles for help? Um." So I was thinking, why don't I do some of my partnered videos? And that's where things got up from there. Yeah, and he was originally going to make this a PG channel, but I completely ruined that in and about two I fucking seconds. I personally don't care at this point. You know, I might actually go back into our first video and see how long it took me to fucking ruin that. Uh, I might actually, you know what, uh, mm -hmm. give me a second. I'm going to count. I'm going to look at the timer and see. Oh, shit, my YouTube's being stupid. I might not be able to right now. No, it's letting me. It's good. Coo, 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 coo. We're good. Coo, 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 choo. Shit. Yeah, because, like, he keeps on saying, I am the Eggman because of Adventure 2, so I just keep saying, I am the Walrus, Koo Koo Kachu. Oh. Beatles fans will get that reference, which I'm not even a Beatles fan, I just know the song. Oh, yeah, um. Man, we've done a lot of fucking shit. Yeah, we're over three we're all, we're almost... If we're not, we're at a ho oh, 320 videos. 
Jiggy Biss. Just uh, check the uh, video count if you can. Um, dude, I'm I'm like all the way down here, so chill. Oh, okay. I finally hit bottom. I finally hit the bottom of the barrel. I'm at closet cat. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, there's a um, uh, before I started doing. Or should I count the test videos we did? Because I don't know if I should count those. Yeah, before I start like, making this a thing, there's just random couple of old videos stuck up on a channel back from a few years ago. I mean, there must be like four or five. There must have been at least like four or five years ago or something. Yeah, I'm just looking at the Sonic uh, 1. I'll just start from there. Because that was my first official appearance after our test runs. Now, actually, some of these old Sonic videos have the most views. Yeah, um, all right. Let, let's oh look God. at this. I want to see how long it takes me. Oh, God. So guys, a uh, little bit of secret of the channel. Um, I can't, well, I can, uh, was talking about, um, this channel used to be just, like, something to just stick random videos on. And so, I uh, there's a video there. Okay, R, this is trippy. I'm listening to you in the video I'm watching, I'm listening to you talking to me right now, and it's <laughs> fucking me up. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Try, try doing this with your high. Oh God. That's one way to mess with your brain. <laughs> um. Yeah. Life of post commentary at the same time. Wee. Oh my God. <laughs> my first line was "Let's play Sonic 2 because it's better." <laughs> oh my God. Um, still PG so far. So yeah, um, there's a, a couple of video, just a couple of random videos up on the channel. Like, um, there's one there. There's actually one there of me. And just like me and my mom just on, uh, on our dirt bikes. It's back for a few year from a few years ago. Just doing our own thing. Oh, missed. And so you guys want to go have a look at that? You get to see a bit a bit of me. For anyone that's curious, you get to see a bit of me. And okay. Two minutes, I said shit. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. So yeah, um... Pretty much after that... I ca I always watching the Acceptagai stuff for a while. After that. So I was thinking... I was kind of thinking I would start my own channel before, but I didn't quite have the drive or the motivation. Okay, to I need to stop doing this, because this double voice thing is giving me a fucking headache. <laughs> <laughs> it took me two minutes to say a curse word, so that's pretty good. We're pretty bad, I don't fucking know. Uh, well, yeah, um... See so yeah, after that, or after a while watching Jack Out the God, there was one video put out. I can't. Re it's. Oh my freaking god! Can I keep my wing for like for as long as I freaking need it? I didn't even lose any no. of my freaking health. What kind of is this crap? What kind of is this crap? Yeah. <sighs> 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 Oh, well, I'm definitely screwed. I'm almost dead already. Yay, screwing. 
<laughs> what That's going to come screwing. out bad. <laughs> yeah, it depends what you mean by bad. screwing. Yay, yeah, screwing. <laughs> this is exactly why we're not a PG channel anymore. <laughs> And I actually eventually just lost the, uh, well, PG-13 is, you can say the F word once in a video and still be considered PG-13. We're fucking, dude, we're R. We're hard R. We're M-rated, dude. We're M-rated for strong language, strong violence, and... Partial nudity. Well, I'm not sure what you're well, talking about. I'm the one here in full clothes. Let's not get into that. <laughs> oh, well, I'm in the pajamas right now, so whatever. Mm. Okay, I kind of crate myself out there for a moment. What the hell? <laughs> Come on, I know that's a hit. So yeah, basically, um, there was this uh, video mm. on Jacksepticeye. It's a blog, or vlog, I should say. A, uh, it was a vlog that he did. And I, I can't remember what vlog number it is. But he Speaking of blog, the worst thing ever invented is Dog with a Blog on Disney Channel. Just saying, I, I had the misfortune of living with tweens, and I wound up seeing an episode of that, and I wanted to gouge my eyes out. Oh, God. It was patronizing garbage. I'd rather just lay here and watch old cartoons from the 90s and 80s. <laughs> Whoa, like what the hell? Transformers. Ow! You kamikaze jerk. It hurts in your thighs. Oh, for the love of yeah, and spend hours on end. You look up a Transformers wiki. <laughs> I don't regret any of my choices. <laughs> uh, hashtag no regrets. Ow, why don't we have a certain sharp bit of a pain in my side? Ow. Oh, yeah, um. So, yeah, this channel all started from. A vlog that Jacksepticeye did. That's basically where this channel started from. He. Our channel superior, Jacksepticeye inferior. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, go put your sound wave away. I love sound wave. Yeah. I would have his weird cassette babies. He about lost his ass once, um, I, uh, sent, I, once I, um, once he went to a big bad toy store, oh my god, he's seen MP13 there. Mm. Exactly. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there right now, fuck it. Yeah, you spell, you spell, you wanna know how I fucking spelled big bad toy store? I put bad BQ. What am I even doing? Bad barbecue? I don't know. I try to go to a big bad toy store and I put bad barbecue. I don't... What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God I'm not drunk or high right now. Or, no wait, it wouldn't be bad barbecue. It's like bad... Bad... Bad barbecue. There we go. Bad barbecue. That bad is a bit of Bad DQ. Dairy Queen is bad. That is rawr, a bit rawr, of rawr. a brain bender. G2 Superior. Oh, uh, they got a fucking G2 Recolor Superior. No. What else we got here? Oh, yeah. Mortal Kombat! Stuff here. Yeah, they got a whole bunch of stuff on their site. That's yeah, we got some Combiner Wars stuff. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. They're totally making a new Skylinks. Too. Oh. Which, which is awesome, because Skylinks is the shit. I love Skylinks. Okay. Who is... If you were to single anyone out, 
who currently who is your favorite Autobot? Autobot. Yes. Just one. Currently. Oh, okay, R. Oh, so that means like that are alive currently where I am in the series? Yes. That's tough. Because early G1, it was Wheeljack, but now that he's dead, I gotta pick a new one. Ugh. Does Rekgar count? Um. I mean, he's a junkie on, but he fights with the Autobots. I like him a lot. I would um, say he counts, in a way. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'd and go with Let me pick a proper. Weird let me think of a proper. Stop talking about me. Let me think of a proper. Um, Proper Autobot. Uh, fuck. I like Blur. I like his gimmick. But, I don't know. Magnus. Magnus is cool. Rodimus is cool. Oh, I know who. I know who. who? Cup. I like Cup a lot. Because we needed a grizzled little man. And, like, um, Ironhide was sort of that in early G1. But Cup, like, totally owns it. And, like, the later versions of, like, Ratchet and, like, um, Animated and I think Prime play up the old man shtick. Ah, crap. But, uh, Cup fucking started that shit. I have to, I have to say Cup. I like him. All right, so and the thing is, like, yeah, he tells all the war stories, but, like, he actually has the skills to back it up. Mm. Like, right. when you see him in action, he actually gets work done and does shit. Yeah. Alright, so guys, so that's gonna actually have to do it to this time. Next time, we should hopefully be able to take on this boss. Oy. And I don't end up getting so freaking philosophical. Good grief. So, guys, uh, do a barrel at the like button if you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a uh, share the video with your friends. Leave a comment down below and tell us what you thought of the video. And we'll see you in the next one. And for anyone that's still here, here's a little bit of extra after the outro. This has to do with the stuff that I mentioned earlier. Now... The two Watch Mojo videos I've seen, there was the top 10 cutest video game characters and the top 10 video game sidekicks. There, now, some of you might be wondering why I got so, as Charles puts it, butthurt. Well, oh dude, there's a new fucking Shockwave masterpiece. Holy shit. Tails was in neither of them. Yeah, he was really butthurt. Like, the cute one he got in honorable mention, and Chow made it on the list. So he was okay with that. Yeah, I was okay with that, but... But sidekicks. listen, let me tell him. Let me... Shut up. Let me talk. Let Daddy talk. Um... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. But, um, Tails was not in the top sidekicks list, which... That's kind of criminal. That's pretty bad. Like, Tails deserves more credit than that. And even I think so. And Tails is, like, his favorite character in anything ever. So he was very butthurt. And here's the thing. Ow, 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 ow. Ugh, okay, I want this. For anyone that has played Portal would probably understand why, but they put the Companion Cube into it. And the reason why I put that one out in specifically... Why is the first thing that comes to mind when you guys hear the name Sidekick? Someone that helps with the main oh, protection. Dude, this fucking sound wave looks. This shock wave rather looks sick. Oh, dude, it even comes with a little version of the gun he turns into for shock wave to hold. Oh, I love that. Alright, so guys, I'll uh, give you um some. Something a little bit. I'll give you. Guys, it's it's a hundred and sixty dollars. <laughs> I'll give you a uh, guy. I'll leave you guys on that. Fuck me. To um. To uh, leave your opinions in the comment section below. And plus the answer to the questions that I asked earlier. What is the 
thing that comes to mind when you think of a cute video game character and what's someone that comes to mind when you think or when you hear of a video game sidekick I'm interested in what you guys have to say to be honest I, re I really am so yeah, well, that's crazy. They even have like fucking like where you can like upgrade the ship and you where like they treat it better and shit. Like for collectors, it's crazy. Better guys. Yeah, our, our one big bag toy store, and that's all. I'm, that's all I'm paying attention to right now. I'm sorry. Oh my god. 